What's going on, fans? What's going on? This your boy and me. Welcome to Mike Bree TV. Guys, let me tell you something, man. It's day two. The car series. <laughs> it is a beautiful Saturday, man. It's the first time ever your boy getting a couple of days off for the weekend. I usually work on the weekend, so hey, <laughs> it's rare that I do a video on the weekend, but <laughs> normally you see me in my damn closet, but hey, I'm in a car. Because, you know, unfortunate circumstances, you know. But anyway, let's get into it, man. You remember I was going to talk about Ben Simmons. <laughs> we all know the Brooklyn Nets. The four, they got a 4-0 blow, 4-0 swept completely by the Boston Celtics, man. Got Jason Tatum balling over there. Jalen Brown. Marcus Smart, you even got Al Horford back. Hey, it's working. It's working right this time. <laughs> That's why they got Al Horford back. They was able to make it work, and they're making it work now. The Brooklyn Nets, like I said, they're in the same boat as the Lakers. I don't watch too much of the Brooklyn Nets, but looking at the highlights, they can't defend. They don't have no damn... They have a bench, but guess what? <laughs> You got an incompetent coach in Steve Nash who don't have no damn experience. That motherfucker don't know what the hell he doing. His rotation's fucking worse than Frank Vogel. His rotation's trash as fuck. How the hell you ain't playing Blake Griffin? Y'all saying he washed. I mean, he might be a little bit washed, but he can still do something, ain't it? That nigga hasn't played at all. They wait to the last minute to play him. What was it? Game three, game four? Hasn't played at all. He even, I think he been sitting out in the regular season. They they really think by with Kevin Durant and Kyrie, and I think it's a no name. What's the name? Bruce Brown and whoever the hell they have. Lauren uh, Goran Dragic, he up there trying to trying to cheat, trying to get a championship real quick, thinking he was gonna get it. Boy, you better cut that mess out. And 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 for some Laker fans that the think that they that he was gonna really try to consider a, I, I don't I don't want that 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 wash behind motherfucker coming to the damn team. I, stay stay your ass in Brooklyn or go somewhere else or retire because you ain't do shit with with Brooklyn at all. But this is all this is really Benson. He quit on the Philadelphia 76ers. Asked for his damn money. He wanted out. They they tra they traded his ass to Brooklyn. A lot of people say, you know, hey, this team, Brooklyn won the trade. The Sixers won the trade. None of them won the damn trade. How about that? Let me change your mind. This is a different opinion. None of them won the trade. James Harden is washed and trashed. Ben Simmons is washed and trashed. That nigga, that nigga hasn't played at all since the playoffs where he could have dunked, but he didn't dunk and pass it to somebody else and blame it on them. He's washed. He's weak-minded. And let me tell you something else. I know some of you Laker fans know this player. And honestly, I wasn't even thinking about it until the Ben Simmons situation. We haven't talked about him at all. But he's kind of he's kind of forgotten in our eyes because it's been so long. You know what Ben Simmons reminds, reminds me of and he should re remind y'all of? Andrew Bynum. The the big center that that played for with the and got with the championships with Kobe and Pau Gasol and all them, Andrew Bynum, he was sensational, right? Won a championship, won a couple championships. Guess what? He started to get cocky. He started to think he was an all star. He up there trying to argue with Kobe and tell him and tell him, no, I got this. Ch ch trying to trying to shoot a three pointer and bricked it, and that's why his ass got pulled out. Mike Brown pulled him out. You remember that that one game? And he sat on the damn bench. His mentality was so terrible. They traded him, traded him, traded him, got injured, and now he's out of the league. They, I think he had to, he had to force himself to retire at 26. That's sad. Ben Simmons, he's damn near about to be out of the league. He's in danger of being out of the league. Russell Westbrook, Ben Simmons. A, f a few to mention. Hey, you might need, you might need to throw. I I know it's blasphemy, blasphemous to y'all. But you might need to throw Kyrie Irving in there. All these players are delusional. They are in danger of getting blackballed, just like just like Carmelo Anthony, and getting out and get thrown out of the league. Nobody wants you. They are in the position 
of, of about to be thrown out of the damn league. But with Kyrie, I'm not so sure because he still has value. I don't know what value you see in him. Ben Simmons, he's so weak-minded. He doesn't want to play basketball. And that's what makes him washed. Not, not Even before that, the Brooklyn Nets dealt with injuries, but that's no excuse. The chemistry, that's no excuse. They're not a very good team. They don't fit with one another. Even James Harden, he said, fuck it, I'm out. But he quit. Even with that team, it didn't fit, and they were dealing with injuries. The team is not constructed together very well. And that's why they got their ass swept. That's the harsh reality of it. And Ben Simmons, if I was the Brooklyn Nets franchise, kick his ass to the damn curve. You don't need him. It's a distraction. It looks really bad on y'all part. It really does. It's it's a terrible situation. Really, those are my thoughts. That's all I have to say, man. <laughs> it's so sad, dog, for a player of his caliber. So much expectations. His skills are just gone, just like that. He became trash because of his mental state. He doesn't want to play basketball. And, I'm, and he's going to mess around and damn near get out of the league at such a young age. But I don't feel bad for him. Shit, uh, us regular people ain't making no damn money. They, they making millions. Spoiled as hell. I don't give a damn. I hope he really does get out of the league. And, and <laughs> hey, hopefully that scares some people and that it humbles them. And <laughs> y'all need to be on your A game and be serious for real. He's in danger. There are a couple other players in the NBA that are in danger of being out of the league as well. I hate it. It's a new generation. A lot of players that you see in, in today's NBA, they're younger. The the superstar team, the, su the super teams, they might be dying out. It's not working anymore. It's not. It's scary, man. All these, these random no-name young players are dominant the league. How? It's sad, man. I don't like to see it, <laughs> especially, you know, when, when it's my team. When my team, you know, Lakers get a super team, it's like, damn, it's not working. These trash, no-name no -name teams are beating us. How? It's, it's frustrating, man, but that's something that we have to deal with. You know, uh, it is what it is. But, uh, guys, <laughs> that is the end of the video. My thoughts on Ben Simmons. He better get it together. He going to be out of the damn league. I'm serious. Hey, let me let me let you uh <laughs> Hey, if you guys have many thoughts, I want to hear you guys thoughts on this cuz I don't know, man. I'm out, guys. Uh, your boy just I pulled up not to Cracker Bell. I pulled up the Cracker Bell not too long. I'm about to get some pancakes. I'm about to throw down. I'm about to get something to eat. I'm hungry as hell. But I'm out, guys. <laughs>